Hi, I'm Tom, this is Q, and you're watching another episode of Extreme Costumes. Today, we're going to teach you how to make epic cosplay wings. Now, that is badass! And, on top of that, fold them down again, please. Turn around, show them how cool these look. Fold it up. Walking around, these things look unbelievably epic and cool. Sideways, they still look cool. Unfold those bastards! Yeah, baby! Some of you may remember that I made a set of wings earlier. This is the same set of wings I made four years ago for Lauren Francesca. And while they look unbelievably awesome and epic, and they have a lot of strengths and advantages, we've really moved a lot farther forward since then. These wings are great in some ways. They can't be hurt. You can run your way through doorways, they just bend out of the way. Give me the wing bitch slap. Yeah, there's the problem. Because every time you say, what? and someone calls for you to get a picture or anything else like that, you bitch slap the nearest 20 people to you. And that was a real problem. And so we had thought we had to set out to solve that problem. But some of you may decide that this is the set of wings for you. The reason is, is that there's no moving parts. They're really simple. They're comprised of just a few things. Come on over here and take a closer look. All of these basic materials are all that you ever need to make almost any of the things that we're gonna show you here today. Wire can be used to make the frame. Come on over here, cube. Take those off. Bring that camera right up in here. You'll see various grades of wire have been twisted and bent. And if you see a side view here, it's curved, and then actually starts to curve backwards. That's because the human back is not a straight line. A lot of people, the first time they make that, the first thing they do is they ask me about the harness. The whole point of the harness is to follow the line of the human body. Over the curvature of the shoulder, then inwards, and then out a little bit, because if you do this, you don't want it gouging you in the small of the back. If you do your job properly, the weight is transferred from the shoulders down to the back, and when you walk around, you don't necessarily have to have a strap in the front. The strap in the front is great for making it secure, but it's very unattractive. I made this, and it worked out great because it was light, and it was durable, and I could make the shape on the fly. I did the same thing inside here to create the structure for this. It came all the way out, there's only one wire, dropping its way down, and then going along all the way up here. If you want to change the shape of it, you can just bend it on the fly. If you bring this in a little closer, this is just one piece of craft foam, glued onto another, glued onto another, glued onto another, and then four years later and a hundred more uses later, it's been cut and re-glued a thousand times, and it still does its job. That was great for when we first started, but we can do better now. So what do we say to these wings? Blah. I wanted folding wings. Hold on to one in here, please. Show us how that works. Oh, oh, wait, that's upside down. Try again. Massive reach. Literally eight feet of reach. And it folds away to nothing. I thought this was the best design ever. But then, I actually tried to add feathers to it, and it bent, and it bent, and it bent, and it torqued so much that it wouldn't fold and unlap over itself. These pieces here were just not durable enough, so I got stronger and stronger materials. First I upgraded to aluminum, that wasn't strong enough, then eventually I went to bamboo. Bamboo is actually one of the strongest materials you can get on the planet, pound for pound. Hey, you hear about titanium, nobody talks about bamboo. Well, bamboo's badass. These wings represent several steps ahead of where we had been before. The reason that they had some nice improvements in them are simple. They've got spines in them. That meant that each feather could go farther out and still retain its shape. These spines are made up out of aluminum or wood, uh, whatever I could find that was super lightweight and cheap. And I wanted them to move. You look on the inside, you'll see that there's a series of strings connecting them all together. This doesn't just, you pull in one and the rest go with it. And the goal was that they could overlap. But even as we made them tougher and tougher and lighter and lighter, there was too much material. The craft bone was too thick. You had to have layers on the outside, your inner layer, then your other layer, then you wanted to have multiple layers. You're up to four or five layers of feathers. They all bunch up when you combine it together. That turned into a knot. 
And that was a pain in the ass. So I said, time to go at it again. You want to help demonstrate this for me? Why don't you put them on? Let's show people just how easy it is to put this set of wings on. Boom, seconds later, you've got them on. You want your wings to look cool. That's why you built wings in the first place. You're not going to go flying anywhere. So you want them to look cool when they're folded. You want them to look cool when they're unfolded. <laughs> Turn around. These look great at every possible angle. Drop them again. And these get down to be narrow enough. You could easily go through a doorway. Why don't you show them? <laughs> Come on back over here, cute. I should take a second to introduce you all to Q. This is Q, my new apprentice. Abby. She is learning how to make giant epic cosplay wings and big robots. She brings a lot of her own skill sets to the show, and we're going to be offering more things that she can do that I don't know how to do. So that's just going to help to improve the quality of products we offer here. I used aluminum rods, which you can see over here. I got these particular sets at a hobby store that sold uh, train parts. You can actually also get these uh, at a sporting store as cut-up arrowheads. They're unbelievably light. But for the outermost one, I actually got a really cheap fishing rod at Home Depot. And that's really durable. And that's because that's going to one that hits everything. When you open them up, that's going to hit everything first. That takes the most abuse. So I chopped up two $6 fishing rods, and that's that outermost run. Then each one of these feathers was cut out, giving a distinct shape. It was held in place by the string. The string doesn't just pull it. It actually guides it. That means each one is overlapping like that. They're not just flapping like that. They're forced into having a given angle so that when they fold into each other, they are cording it up smoothly. There's only one hinge. Not like this. One hinge, another hinge, another hinge, another hinge, another hinge, another hinge, another hinge, and then this whole thing hinged back and forth. I love the complexity. It was fun and exciting to make, but in the end, it made it too heavy, too complex, and too unreliable. So, in a rare case, we here at Extreme Costumes went with simple as opposed to complex. One pull, boom, they're up. They look awesome, let it go, boom, they're down. Uh, that's really durable. You can smash into things, they're still gonna stay in one piece. And this harness is a separate design from the wings. So you can have a harness like this and still go with a rigid set of wings like that. Whatever design you end up picking, pick that design based on what the final product is gonna be used for. In my particular case, I'm making these to be probably used by somebody at a club or to go out to a party. I want it to be convenient, light, and easy. If all you're interested in in the photo shoot, you might want the overly complicated one. If you want to hit a thousand people in a row and bitch slap them because you really love giving some of the wing bitch slap, well, this is your mouth. Also, no moving parts, very simple. You just simply start at the top, work your way down, no overlapping feathers. And like I said before, Whoops. Hopefully it fits a variety of different sizes. There we go. Epic cosplay wings by Extreme Costumes. <laughs> so, in a nutshell, that's how you make a pair of cosplay wings. You can choose to be able to go with a rigid set of wings, you can choose to have them be foldable with multiple different layers, or simple, reliable, dependable. Epic. You pick the method, you make it happen, post back the message and pictures to us. Follow us on Facebook, Twitter, and of course, subscribe on YouTube.